Kozlowski do what he did last night? <laughs> because I was in deep therapy all night long last night trying to figure out how to trump that kid. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm in a blessed life. I sold my chiropractic office nine months ago. I talented enough last night. That's 36 weeks. I've been on vacation 13 of the 36. <laughs> Three and a half years ago, I saw this deal. I sat in the back and I said, I'm going for it. Anybody with me? <laughs> High strength in this deal is IMD. You make $557,000 a year. They give you a car. They give you a house. Who's going for it? I went for it. I got a true story. Some of you have heard this one. I like it. I'm doing it again. <laughs> it's true. On July 20th, 1969, as commander of the Apollo 11 lunar module, Neil Armstrong was the first person to set foot on the moon. His first words after stepping on the moon, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for... Mankind. Mankind were televised to Earth and heard by millions. But just before he re-entered the lander, he made the remark, Good luck, Mr. Gorski. Many people at NASA thought it was a casual remark concerning some rival Soviet cosmonaut. However, upon checking, there was no Gorski in either the Russian or American space program. Over the years, many people questioned Armstrong as to what the good luck Mr. Gorski statement meant. But Armstrong always just smiled. On July 5, 1995, in Tampa Bay, Florida, while answering questions following his speech, a reporter brought up the 26-year-old question to Armstrong. This time he finally responded. Mr. Mr. Gorski had died until Neil Armstrong felt he could answer the question. In 1938, when he was a kid in a small Midwest town, he was playing baseball with a friend in the backyard. His friend had a fly ball which landed in his neighbor's yard by the bedroom window. His neighbors were Mr. and Mrs. Gorski. As he leaned down to pick up the ball, a young Armstrong heard Mrs. Gorski shouted, and Mr. Gorski, sex? You want sex? You'll get sex when the kid next door walks on the moon. <laughs> I want you to take this thing and I want you to fill out what you really want. 
I want you to really, truly figure out why you're doing this. And when it becomes a cause, when it becomes a person, when it becomes a, a purpose, when you figure out why it is what you do, people will start to join your organization. You're going to stop trying to sell memberships, and you're going to try to start a movement like we did three and a half years ago. See, for me, when I started doing this thing, I was stressed out to the max. I had a chiropractic office, had seven employees, had overhead of $40,000 a month. 40000 to get to zero. And I was tired. I did it for 10 years. I did it at a high level. I had nothing to prove. I was looking for a way out. But when I saw this concept, I knew it could take me from where I was with what I currently have or had to what I really wanted. So what I want you to do is I want you to fill it out. I want you to be honest. I want you to write down what it is that you really have in your life. You've got debt. We know it. I saw over 100,000 patient visits in my 10 years of practicing chiropractic, and I promise you the number one cause of death in our country is stress. Because we live in houses that we can't pay for, drive cars that we can't pay for, we wear clothes to impress. Versace. Versace. <laughs> <laughs> See guys, you gotta realize that what you really have, if you wanna go to what you really want, World Ventures is the vehicle that can bridge the gap. And if you believe in network marketing like I do, and you believe in this company and the people that you saw just standing on the stage like I do, if you believe that you're going for it, I and B, who's going for it? I'm going for it again. I'm getting another one. <laughs> See, I believe if people join my team, I'm going to help them. I believe I can help get them to where they want to go. I've stepped up and I've led. And I'm thankful very much for the people that do it with me day in and day out on our team. Guys, look. All week long, all weekend long, I hear people talking to me, and they just talk smack. I hear so much chatter, and you know what I'm going to say. I hear stuff like this. Dr. Peter got placed on the inside leg, but inside leg. Just do it. And again, he's still over. Just do it. My sponsor quit. My upline doesn't give me any help. Just do it. Thank you! I don't have any training. Just do it. I wasn't there in the beginning when the company started. Just do it. I don't have any money to come to training. You really gotta do it. <laughs> I don't know anybody. Just do it. All my friends say it's a pyramid. I'm going to jail. Cool. <laughs> Just do it. I found a better price than Expedia, Dr. Peach. Just do it. There aren't enough restaurants in my town in the dining and entertainment section. Just do it. I had to wait five minutes for the concierge. Just do it. There's not enough mobile hideaways in places I want to go. Just do it. I thought there'd be bigger discounts in my dream just small. Just do it. Dr. Peach, I was Mr. Everything in my former company. You might have to start over to get at the bottom. Yeah, you do. Dr. Peach, I'm going to beat your record. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Dr. Peach, I can't sell. Just do it. Ooh, I just hit RMB. No, I can back off, right? No. When I hit, when I hit IMD, I'm really going to give back. Just do it. Dr. Peach, I'm going to be a trainer someday. Just do it. Dr. Peach, I'm over the hump now. Watch my smoke. Just do it. Dr. Peach, I'm going to win that contest. Just do it. <laughs> Dr. Peach, if I could just get my chiropractor signed up, my team would really explode. <laughs> Will you talk to my chiropractor for me? No. <laughs> See, guys, what's the difference between the people sit in the front row and all the rest of the people in this room. Get it. They did it. They do it, and they do it, and they do it. Guys, the bottom line is, and they get paid, get happen, paid, get paid. Step to the bottom of this thing right here. you got to show people all this stuff. You come out, you're running all the time, means nothing unless you pick up the phone and you make a call. Look, everybody sitting right there, every single one of them made 50 phone calls fast. First 30 days, if you're willing to do a 30-day sprint right now, or you will expose 50 people, raise your hand. Stand up. 
put it in writing. You're going to sign this in front of your sponsor. You sign it, you commit it. I promise you, if you do two 30 day sprints somewhere along this line, five to ten at a time, you bring about five to ten at a time. I brought people out to Watson over and over and over again. He was the expert. I didn't know what was going on. He was the expert. Bring your people to your upline five to ten at a time. You show 100 people over the course of the next year and you do it fast, guys, I promise you, your life will radically change. Guys, here's the deal. Happiness. I am a storyteller. I got one more. We convince ourselves that life will be better after we get married, have a baby, then another. Then we are frustrated that the kids aren't old enough that we'll be more content when they are. After that, we're frustrated that we have teenagers to deal with. We will certainly be happier when they're out of that stage. We tell ourselves that life will be complete when our spouse gets in her act together, when we get a nicer car, we're able to go on nice vacations, when we retire. The truth is there's no better time to be happy than right now, if not now, when? Your life will always be filled with challenges. It's best to admit this to yourself and decide to be happy anyway. One of my favorite quotes for a long time, it seemed to me that there was, the life was about to begin, real life. But there was always some obstacle in the way, something to be gotten through first, some unfinished business, some time still to be served, or debt to be paid. Then life would begin. At last, it dawned on me that these obstacles were my life. This perspective has helped me to see that there's no way to happiness. Happiness is the way, so treasure every, every moment that you have and treasure it more because you've shared it with someone special, special enough to spend time with and remember that time waits for no one. So stop waiting until you finish school, until you go back to school, until you lose 10 pounds, until you gain 10 pounds, until you have kids, until your kids are, leave the house, until you start work, until you retire, until you get married, until you get divorced. Until Friday night, until Sunday morning, until you get a new car or home, until your car or home is paid off, until spring, until summer, until fall, until winter, until you're off welfare, until the, fist, until the first or the 15th, until your song comes on, until you've had a drink, until you've sobered up, until you die, until you're born again to decide that there's no better time than right now to be happy. Happiness is a journey, not a destination, because life's a process, not an event. Thought for the day, work like you don't need money, love like you've never been hurt, and dance like no one's watching. Eric Kaspowski, this one is for you. Cue it up, boys. <laughs> Dance in front of you, so watch this. I've been working on this.